Hey friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling blessed and staying in God's presence. And if not, I hope you feel uplifted after today's video. If you're new here, welcome to His Princess Christian Community, where we read a chapter of the Bible every day, and then discuss it afterwards and in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and it opens the door for more people to join our community. And while you're at it, check the description box. We got a lot of great stuff in there. So today we're reading Psalms chapter 47, but before we get started, I wanted to say a prayer if you wouldn't mind bowing your heads with me. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together here on His Princess Christian Community. Thank you for opening the door for people to join our community, for connecting us and strengthening our bond. Thank you for opening our eyes, our ears, our hearts, and our minds to your word. Thank you for your wisdom, understanding, and clarity as we seek to interpret your word. And thank you for the courage to apply it to our daily lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Psalms chapter 47. Come, everyone, clap your hands. Shout to God with joyful praise, for the Lord Most High is awesome. He is the great King of all the earth. He subdues the nations before us, putting our enemies beneath our feet. He chose the promised land as our inheritance, the proud possession of Jacob's descendants whom he loves. God has ascended with a mighty shout. The Lord has ascended with trumpets blaring. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King over all the earth. Praise Him with a psalm. God reigns above the nations, sitting on His holy throne. The rulers of the world have gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For all the kings of the earth belong to God. He is highly honored everywhere. Amen. So what did you think of Psalms chapter 47? I'm interested to hear about it in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite verse is. Um, let me know how Psalms has been um, influencing your life lately, how it's been inspiring you. You know, maybe comment um, how God has blessed you lately, or if you need a prayer, you know, just put it in the comments below and we can pray with you. Or just say hi and let us know that you're part of the community. So when I read Psalms 47, I am reminded to praise God and just to make that part of my daily routine in any way that I can. And this is a great psalm to use to praise God. So maybe if you just want to use it to say before your prayers or um, just, you know, incorporate it into your prayer journal. Um, just to say, like, come together, everyone, and clap your hands. So whatever you're doing, just clap your hands and, you know, shout your praises to God. It says, shout to God with joyful praise. For the Lord Most High is awesome. I mean, God is awesome, so we need to praise Him every day, and we need to just remember that regardless of what's going on. And especially when things seem bleak or seem dim, when you're really sad or down, that's when we need to praise God the most. It really confuses the enemy, and it just sends in the angels to fight the battle for us. So, you know, whenever you're feeling really down, just say, come everyone, clap your hands, shout to God for, with joyful praise. God is awesome. And just, you know, just get that praise out wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you know, just clap your hands and mentally just know that, you know, even if you're just doing it in your head, you know, if you're in a meeting and you're feeling stressed out and you can't really just jump to praise God, you know, just do it internally and just shout your praises to God. Um, so this is just, like I said, a really great psalm to use as praise. And um, I just encourage you to incorporate praise throughout your day. Again, especially when you don't feel like it. That's when you need it the most. So that is my interpretation of Psalm chapter 47. I'm interested to hear what you have to say about it. Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you stay blessed, stay in God's presence, and have a great rest of your day. I love you.